Hey YouTube, KK4JXW here with the newest creation and um, uh, piece in our arsenal here. This is the mobile 70 centimeter 448250 UHF repeater system that we've that uh, a friend and I built. Um, good for emergency communications. Uh, good for going hunting trips, ski trips where there's no radio communications. Um, set this little bad boy up and um, you've got, depending on how high you can get it, anywhere from 10 to 25 square mile coverage with this one little 5 watt system. So we're going to open it up here and show you guys how we built it. Uh, everything's housed in this Pelican 1450 case here, uh, which means that it can be shipped. You can, um, you know, FedEx it. You can put it on an airplane. You could probably even uh, carry this on if you wanted to, but you, know, you could definitely check bag it. There's uh, four main components within the, the uh, Pelican case itself. You have your RX radio, your TX radio, your mini duplexer, and your controller system. Um, so it works just like a normal big, you know, repeater would. Um, when you transmit on your handheld or your mobile, this radio receives on the 443250, which is our negative offset frequency. Then the radio controller over here takes the audio signal, tells this radio to, to uh, transmit, and then this radio transmits back out on 448250. Duplexer combines both of the signals and goes to, in this case, we've built a portable mast system for uh, hunting trips and going to the beach, so on and so forth. Uh, you could um, do, like what we're gonna do pretty soon here is drill a hole with a connector and you could put a mobile antenna on the side of it uh, so there's a lot of possibilities. You could even um, not use a duplexer and just keep the antennas uh, on here. Uh, we know I've known some people who do this who just put extension cables and they actually mount the HT handheld uh, antennas on the outside of the case. Not sure about the the uh, interference you'd get with those two antennas being so close together, but it is a possible thing to do. So um, just to show you um, real quick, we're gonna reboot everything up actually we're just going to turn the rx radio off and when i turn this radio on it'll give a beep which is going to fake the controller into thinking somebody's transmitting to it and as you can see our tx radio came up and everything's ready to go so uh, we're going to go outside and take a look at the mobile mast we built um and then we're going to go out to the mobile rig and actually transmit to this thing okay so here's the uh, mobile mast that uh, uh, KK4JXV and I myself built. Uh, up on top of it there is a uh, arrow. Can't see because the way I'm standing. Uh, arrow J pole uh, antenna, two meter, and 440, uh, you know, combo antenna. This whole thing is built out of PVC, car ratchet straps, glue, wood screws, and four by four lumber on the bottom for the base. Just give you guys a quick rundown of how everything's put together. Um, you can see right there, there's a toilet flange, which is sitting flush with the bottom of the, the uh, wood, so everything sits nice and level. It is screwed on the bottom side into these two braces right here. Um, and then there's another corresponding flange on the top of this four inch pipe. This whole three inch section right here slides down into our flange there and then slides down to the inside of the flange on the bottom of that wood. And it holds it pretty good. Um, you know, I'm moving it a little bit right there and it's, uh, you know, it's wiggling a little bit. That's because the base isn't um, level right now. Everything's guyed up uh, with these ratchet straps here. And they're pulled pretty tight. And then of course our uh, antenna there up on the top is attached with some hose clamps. and. Uh, we haven't figured out a way to really attach the cable yet. we got to work on that one in the next couple of days. But that's it. And everything comes down into 5-foot sections. Well, 10-foot sections. 5-foot um, section up top, 10-foot section here in the middle, and then your base. And everything was measured to fit between the fender wells of a pickup truck. So this will fit in the back of a pickup truck. It will fit in the back of a you know mid-size SUV. Um, so you can take it with you. And you don't even need to really have to have... The extra tall section if you wanted to you could just use this part right here or you could even if you've got a tree or something you could take the top section up there where the antenna is bolted to 
and you could strap it to a tree at your hunting camp if you wanted to climb up into a tree with it. So it's a very versatile little system. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go out to the truck and we're going to actually um, uh, we're gonna actually uh, hit the repeater and uh, trigger it, turn on, and uh, do some test transmissions uh, to the repeater. And um, so, uh, all right. So we're here in the uh, in the truck with the mobile, and uh, on the uh, let's see, right hand side here we've got our uh, repeater programmed into it, four four eight two five zero negative offset with a tone of eighty eight point five. Um, and we're gonna make sure the radio's on the right side first of all. And now we're gonna uh, transmit into the radio, and you'll hear it beat back with its tone and its tail. KK4 JXW testing the 448250 mobile emergency repeater. So there you have it. Um, everything works pretty good. This is, of course, we're only 20 feet from the repeater um, antenna right now. So, like I said, we anywhere from a you know a 10 to a 25 mile radius. If you can get it up on top of a mountain, you get even more out of it. So it just all depends on where you can stick the uh, stick the antenna. But hope this uh, helps some people with building their system or give you some good ideas. Uh, KK4 JX W73. I'm clear.